Today we're gonna be looking at the brand new MXM2 plugin slash I guess it's an update. Guys, I've played with this a little bit and it's insane. This is by far the best plugin that's really hit the editing community in a while. Let's hop right into this. So to open MXM2, you wanna to go to Window, Extensions, and then open MXM2 right here. And we're just gonna have it floating around here. So you wanna select your composition. What I'm gonna do for the sake of this tutorial is I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of create them myself. So I'm gonna press Command Shift D right here and I'm gonna cut out this area of the video. And we're just gonna do this just so it doesn't lag. Pre-compose it and open the new composition. And we're gonna rename this new composition. We're gonna call this like MXM. So with that in mind, we're gonna refresh it and we can see MXM's right there. We're gonna hit launch. I can't wait to show you guys how insane this looks and how fast, like boom, right away. If you wanna double click on the source here, you can actually scale your video up or you can actually change the aspect ratio of this thing here in the background, I guess. But instantly, guys, you get this insanely crisp paper texture that looks like it was literally made. Like, I think the level of difference between fake and real when it comes to paper textures is just like eliminated now. Fred completely snapped on this. So let's work through all of the customization features and let's first see it on a couple other scenes from this video here. So you can see how insane it looks on this one here. And I really want to see the one on his face here. Did that one get inside of here? Yeah, boom. Incredible, guys. So let's go ahead and play around with some of the different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that here. And we got monochrome, we got sun fade, we got pastel, pink wash, acid. Anyways, let's go back to, I like the way sun fade looked. And you can play with the opacity of it. So if we go ahead and turn that up, you can really get a cool look like that. And saturation as well. So let's go ahead for like a desaturated. Um, that's a little bit too much. Let's say that's good for now. So let's go back. And this is my favorite part right here, guys. The cuts. Can't wait to show you guys. Like, look how insane that is, especially if I go ahead and play this through. It does need a little bit of time to render, but once it renders through, guys, if I go ahead and just play this, look how insane that looks, guys. So I'm going to turn off the emboss and the details here. And you can turn these crazy rips on here, the borders. Like, guys, this is literally... Probably the craziest plugin that's ever been made. So much time and effort has been put into this. So we're going to go ahead and play with the different layouts here. As you guys can see, we got the circles. And then maybe we'll turn this emboss back on just because it adds a little bit more depth there. This one's animated. Wow, look at this. This is literally a cheat code, guys. So much value packed in one plugin. Well, yeah, it's going to take a while to go through all of these. Um, anyways, let's go back here and play around a little bit more with these settings here. So let's turn the cuts off and the colors off and go back to our original look here. So we also have overlays inside of here. So if we click on this, you guys can see it adds a bunch of scribbles. It instantly added them there. Or we can add cracks as well. It seems like we can't add multiple ones. So let's go ahead and go through here. We got hair glass wow okay that's cool data data two and it says the playback right there oh we got a leader let's see how this looks i love the way film leaders look wow that's incredible guys burns very very cool i think the uh paper look on it is making it look a diff bit different i'm gonna go ahead and leave the leader on and then we got the scale of it and the subtract of it let's go back now and let's see what else we have to work with here uh, we got scan lines, so you can go ahead and play with those and turn up the thickness of them and the gap. I probably won't use these myself. I'm going to go back and just go ahead and turn them off here. Well, you can scroll. That's really nice. Uh, paint here. Wow. Very, very cool stuff, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add like a little red look to this. Let's go ahead and do like a washed red look. And let's change our texture. I like this one here. Paint one, paint two. Paint four, paint five. I like paint two the best. Let's do this one here and then add the scale. Ooh, a little bit too much there. See how this looks right here. Very, very clean stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off and we'll check out the next one here. Halftone. I love the halftone look on the paper texture, guys. You guys can really see. Like it adds like that whole comic book look to it. I think that a lot of people are looking to get borders as well. 
Uh, we were looking at these ones earlier, different versions of them. This will be really cool if you want to set it up beforehand and then make sure it matches with your image here. And overall, you can play with the FPS as well, which was already an MXM1, and the resolution as well if you want to go ahead and crank that up or turn that down. And then you can play with the paper texture itself and really turn it up to the max or like really make it very subtle as well. Let's give this a second to load. There we go. We're back now. And once we have all the changes we want, all you have to do is go ahead and hit confirm, or you can save this to use it later. So literally just save it as a preset and it will show up inside of here. So let's call this preset here and then just hit confirm. Are you sure? And then boom, it's going to instantly render it and allow us to use it inside of here. If you search up MXM, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. I definitely think this is the highest quality plugin slash extension I have ever seen. Fred absolutely snapped on this and he's actually running a sale right now for the holidays. If you guys combine that with my code linked down below, you guys can get this plugin at an insanely cheap price. Highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.